Hi everyone, Susan here again. Um, this video is going to be another... Um, this one isn't really Funko Pops. This one is Titan's Vinyl Pop Share, a vinyl figure share. So, but it will be going underneath with my Funko Pop shares. So, I bought four of these Funko Pops four of these vinyl pops. They were in a box through a subscription service that I get, which is Nerd Block. They had a box called Vinyl Palooza. And I paid I think it was like twenty dollars to get four three um one do yeah, three sorry three Titans and one actual Funko Pop. So I am going to show you guys the four that I bought. The four that I got, well, I bought, basically, so the four that I bought, and then two other ones that have come in with my subscription boxes that I subscribe to, which is Horror Block and Loot Crate. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first one I want to show you, which I was really excited when I got it, I was like, oh, yeah, is... The Ecto-1. Oh, sorry. So the Ecto-1. So I'll take it out of the box so we can get a better view at it. Inside the box, I noticed because of the plastic on the front, there's always a glare. So it's more difficult to see. So I will do this. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of watching my cat for a minute there. She's scaring me where I'm recording. I have a rad, and I do know she was chasing a mouse a couple days ago, and I don't know if the mouse maybe decided to hide out in the rad. I don't know, so I'm a little scared. I'm a little leery. So this is what the Ecto-1, the Ghostbusters car, looks like outside the box. It's very, it's more easier to see, but I like the detail on these ones. They seem to have more detail on them than the Funko Pops do. Like, the Funko Pops have detail, but not as much detail as these ones. So, like, so I really like them, and I know this company isn't very big right now. They're just starting out, and they have licenses, but not... They have licenses, sorry, to certain brands as you will see so they obviously got the license to do the vehicle from um, Ghostbusters so that's that one the next one is they have the license I think it was one of the first licenses they got was Doctor Who this is the 10th Doctor so let's open it up and get a better look at them I've already given him his sonic screwdriver and everything, as you can tell. For some reason, I can't think of his name, and my brother likes this doctor, and so do I. And I just, I wish I could figure out his name, but it escapes me right now. So this is what he looks like. So he's wearing a little suit with a little tie, and he's got his little sonic screwdriver from Doctor Who. If I haven't, it's the 10th Doctor, if I didn't already say that. And if I did, I apologize, because I couldn't remember. So this is what he looks like. I like him, actually. He's really cool. He, and the figures, as well, are really well... They've got a lot of detail, like... More, like, a lot of detail. And I like that on the bottom of his foot. So see on the bottom he's got the Titans on this foot, but then on this foot here, I don't know if you can see it good. But it's got like the there. It's got like the TARDIS and then BBC because that's who owns or yeah, who owns the rights to Doctor Who and shows the show is BBC. Because it's a British show. So this is what he looks like. I just wish I could remember his name. Oh, it escapes me right now. So this is what he looks like. 
And then we've got one more of the Titans figures. Well, sorry. One more out of the, the Titans figures out of the ones that I bought. Out of the Vinyl Palooza box, which was a special promotional box. Okay, so, and then we've got, um, I'm just going to take them out of the box. But here's this box. So, it's from Breaking Bad, and the guy is Sal Goodman. So, this is what he looks like. And see what I mean? Like, they've got really good detail on them. Like, and I haven't found any that have really had any really, like, faulty paint jobs wrong with them. So, which has been pretty good. And he's got a cup as well. He's the lawyer in the Breaking Bad, the TV show. So this is what he looks like. So, they have the license to do make Breaking Bad final figures. And then the last one that I got out of the Vinyl Palooza box that I bought is an actual Funko Pop, and it is Pop um, Movies 105, and it is Dr. Raymond's Stance, which is uh, Ghostbusters. Sorry, I have one of those days, so we'll take him out of the box and take a look at him. Come on, let's get him out of here. Okay, so this is what he looks like, and now he's really he's got some really good stuff with them too. Like this is what he looks like. So he's got his goggles he wears, his the little uh, ghost trap, and then he's got the little pat his little pack and a walkie-talkie. But he's got a spot where they've got black paint on his pants. His hand is a little scuffed up. But other than that, he's a really good Funko Pop. Like, this is an actual Funko Pop from Funko. And that's what I mean. Like, I understand that they're hand-painted and everything. Don't get me wrong. I love Funko Pops. But sometimes, you know, it's kind of, you spend your money on it, and then you get one that's, you know, got a crap job. It's not very, it's not very, you know, makes you feel, oh, I wasted my money on one that isn't painted really good. Like, you know, so that's, this is him. And then the final two that I got, but that I received out of subscription boxes, out of Loot Crate, is this one. I'm sure... If you've seen a lot of the Loot Crate unboxing videos or the mine of Loot Crate unboxing video, then you will have seen um, this Batman Q-Pop. Now, I have never taken him out of the box because I've been... Because <laughs> he's got a sign with him and I, didn't, and I didn't know if I'd be able to get him back in the box. And so... This is the first time I'm taking him out of the box. I'm a little scared. So here we go. Here goes nothing. Oh, there's tape. Well, that's a good thing that there's tape then. Just wish I could fix. Oh, man. And I wanted to show you guys, but I can't get the tape off. Oh, come on. Okay, I got the tape off one side. So, I don't think I need it. No, just the one side. Okay, so. Wow, he's actually really good. Oh my god. I really like this Q Pop Batman from DC. Wow. This is like really well made. Like, I think he's so cute. Look. This is what he looks like. Like, it's so awesome. And he's on the top of a build. Like, it's supposed to be like he's standing on top of a. A sculpture off one of the buildings, like a bird that, that hangs at the top. So this is what he looks like, but I like how his face is just softer. It's not as mean. And I see, so for me, I consider him to be a child, like little Batman, because he's got a soft facial features and he's just so cute. He's not mean or 
angry looking, you know? So, sorry about that. My cat is doing something weird here again. So, yeah, so this is what he looks like. And I think he's awesome looking. Lily, I'm sorry. Um, Lily, you can't. There's nothing out there. Okay, sorry about that. So the last one I'm going to show you is if I can grab him. A lot of people didn't like him. Like, a lot of people had been, sorry about this, selling him and stuff online because it wasn't really their thing. And that's fine if you don't know that show and it's not really your cup of tea. I have no problems with that. But, the one, so, the other vinyl top, this is a vinyl figure from Titans, and I got it out of, um, Horror Block from Nerd Block. Now, this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. I just like their subscription box and stuff like that, so if you want to check them out, go head on over to their channel, or sorry, to their website at nerdblock.com. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can take a look. They have different ones. So anyways, um, this is what Spike from Buffy looks like. It's got blood on him. So I like him. He's actually well made. Like, there's nothing wrong with him. But I totally understand. If you don't like the show or you're not into the show, then by all means, get rid of him. Who am I to say, no, you can't, you have to keep it. Like, I can't. That's not me. So, yeah, so those are my, um, vinyl pops and Funko pops that I have. I finally, finally finished showing you all the ones that I have right now. So, when I get new ones, I will do another video. So until then, I will see you all next time. Bye.